Welcome to Tech Photo Blog. This is episode number 19. This week I'll be talking about some of the new features I added to the latest version of the software I'm releasing. It's all open source, so people can modify it as wanted, but I, I try to make regular releases of the standard version of the, the software, and this is going to be release 5.1. It's compatible with the Camera X 5 and the Camera X 5 Shield. So the first big change I made was to, to clean up how the menus are handled in the code. So while this isn't immediately obvious while you're using the Camera X, it does make adding new menus much easier for anyone who wants to. It also means that the existing menus take up a lot less space on the microchip, so more features can be added in the future. Next, I cleaned up how scrolling works on this advanced sensor menu. It used to be that when you got down to this lower portion, you couldn't really scroll around without um, having things run off the bottom. So uh, this new scrolling algorithm that I'm using, basically, when you're down in the sensor area, it stays down in the sensor area. And when you're in the device area, it now stays in the device area. So this makes changing the different settings uh, easier on this menu. So the next change I was going to do was uh, change this power um, off mechanism to use the device. It used to say off sensor one and off sensor two here. Uh, now it says off device one and off device two. But actually the code was already using the device instead of the sensor. So all I did was change the string. The advantage of having this be a device over a sensor is that um, you can now do ors and ands of both sensors before turning off a, uh, the power to one of the sensor ports, which can be useful for things like a cross sensor. Another thing I'll mention is the bulb time. When you used to change that to uh, zero seconds, it used to just flicker the flash or the uh, camera which isn't really the best so it would like flicker on the camera for about a hundredth of a second and then it would turn it off which didn't work with all cameras and there are certain use cases where you want the uh, camera or the flash to be triggered just as long as the sensor is being triggered so that's what this now does it's it's kind of an edge case but um, one user asked for it and it was easy to do. I think that it now makes more sense what bulb zero uh, does. Another thing I changed was I added the trigger type digital. And I talked about this a lot more last week and how much it uh, reduces lag in the system introduced by the camera axe. But um, yeah, so if you're more interested in, in details about what this is doing, uh, go and watch that video, but basically when you can use this mode, it reduces the lag introduced by the camera axe. And when I made that change, I was able to remove the fast trigger menu since it no longer served a purpose. Then I added this motor test menu. This is just a step, just to test the new stepper motor sensor I put into the uh, camera axe door. It's uh, still very much alpha functionality. It's not too useful as is, but it's a good basis for building your own um, stepper motor menu. And I wanted to have something in there as a, as a demonstration of how to use the new stepper motor. And the last two options I added were on this general settings page. Uh, Startup mode is new, so by default it's going to be menu, but you can also change it to photo. And the reason that that means when you turn the power on, it'll either go to the menu uh, system or it'll go to the photo settings um, and just start triggering right away. So one guy was asking, uh, and I thought this made a lot of sense, to have a mode where it just instantly starts up into a mode where it's ready to take pictures and you don't have to do anything with the menu. I can see that being useful when you are 
turning on or off the camera axis with like an external relay or you don't want to um, mess with the camera axis in the field. You just want to turn it on and be ready to go. And then the last uh, change was I set up these preset groups and there's preset one, two, three, and four. And what this lets you do is it lets you set up any of the menus in the camera axe and then you can change to a different preset and uh, you know change all of the menus again and it'll remember the original settings for preset one so for example if I go and turn off the uh, backlight on preset number one then I go to preset number two the backlight will be on there and preset three has the default of backlight on preset four has the backlight on and preset one has it off so this is useful if you wanna you know set up one preset to use with the microphone sensor a different preset to use with the projectile sensor um, that way you don't have to set up all of the menus each time you uh, want to use a different uh, sensor you can just go to these uh, presets and it'll remember uh, the settings you had for that preset. Thanks for watching.